Welcome to Party Street. Today we are going to discuss about the Satavahanas. There are some sources which are important to construct the history of the Satavahanas. These sources are the inscriptions of Nahupan, Gautami Putra's inscription at Benakatak, Nashik inscriptions of Gautami Putra of his 18th and 24th regnal year. Nasik Prashasti by Gautami Balasri, Junagar Prashasti by Rudradamun, and Periplastes Eritras Thalassus, Ptolemy's Geographic Ehufagesis, etc. Simuka, also called Sisuka, the first Shatavahana king, seems to have held sway over the region around Pratishthan or Poitan and Nanaghat near present Mumbai. He figures in an inscription from Nanghat II. The next ruler, Krishna I, is mentioned in his inscription from Nasik, which therefore should have come under the Satavahana authority. The king Satakarni, certainly one of the early rulers of this dynasty, is known from two records found in Nasik. He is possibly the same with the Satakarni of the West figuring in Karvela's Prashasti, as he figures also in an inscription from Sachi. There is a likelihood of the spread of the Shatavahan rule in the Vidisha area in eastern Malav. His coins coming from Kundinyapur in Vidarva may also suggest an expansion of Shatavahana territory to the east. In view of his likely identification with the elder Sarganus or Satkurni I in the Periplas, the Shatavahana domain appears to have embraced the northern Konkan or Oparanta coast, including the port of Kaliene or modern Kollyan near Mumbai. The steady rise of the Shatavahana in the western and central parts of the Deccan and also in Vidisha area to the north of the Narmada received a major jolt from Nahupan of Kshaharath family, the Shakakhatrapa ruler of western India and was mentioned as Nambanus or Mambanus in the Periplas that he was gaining political control at the expense of the Shatavahanas will be evident from the distribution of his records. Three inscriptions from Nashik, one each from Karle and Junar. All these areas under the Shaka rule had previously formed part of the Shatavahana realm. A Nasik inscription impresses upon his sway over Vrigukacha, Daspura, Suraparaka or Sopara, and Govardhana or Nasik. The Periplas reports that Kaliene was a lawful port or Nominos Enthesmos under the rule of Elder Serganus, but during the reign of Sandaris, identified either with Sundara Shatakarni or Chandana Shatakarni of the Puranas, it suffered a decline. The king of Barigaja, Nambanus, put a naval blockade around the port and forced the visiting ships to go to Barigaja. Kolyan's prosperity suffered and it did not figure in the list of ports available in the Ptolemy's work. Nahapan probably ruled from the late 1st century CE to the second decade of the 2nd century CE. His reign marked the beginning of the Shakasatavahana struggle, which became a major feature of the politics in the Deccan. Gautamiputra Shatakarni was the greatest ruler of the Shatavahana family in the early part of the 2nd century. 
his two inscriptions of his 18th and 24th regnal years from Nashik cave clearly point to the recovery of Nashik by the Shatavahanas from the Shakas. The most eloquent testimony to his achievements is available in the Nashik Prashasti which was caused to be engraved by his mother Gautami Balasri during the reign of Vashishtiputra Pulumai. Gautami Putra is eulogized as one who re-established the glory of the Shatavahana family after having exterminated the Kaharat dynasty. It was said about him that Shaka Yavana Pallava Nishudana Kakarata Vansha Niravashishakara Shatavahana Kuloyasha Pratishthapanakara the most clinching evidence of the defeat of Nahapan in the hands of Gautamiputra comes from the Jogulthembi coin hoard near Nasik. 9,720 out of 13,270 of Nahapan's coins were re-struck or overstruck with the legends and symbols of Gautamiputra. In the inscription of his 18th regnal year, he also donated to a Buddhist monastery near Nashik a piece of land which till then had been enjoyed by Ushavadatta, Nahapan's son-in-law. It is said that Ketam Ajakalakiyam Ushavadatena Bhuktam Only after the political and military austere of the Shaka ruler could Gautamiputra had held the plot once possessed by his rival and made a gift of the same plot to the Buddhist monastery. Gautamiputra's success was however not merely limited to his victory over the Shaka Khatrapas. The Nashik Prasasti describes him as the ruler of Asika or Rishika between the Gadavari and Krishna Asaka or Asmaka to the north of Rishika, Mulaka or area around Pratishthan in the central Deccan, Kukura or northern Kathiawar, Onupa or Mahishmati to the south of the Narmada, Bidava or Bidarva in Nagpur, and Akaravanti or Avanti located around Ujjaini in western Malava and Akar in eastern Malava around modern Sachi Vidisha Bhopal region in Madhya Pradesh. He is also praised as the lord of the following mountains or Pavatapati, Vija or Vindhya or the eastern part of the Vindhya range, Achavat or Rikshavat part of the Vindhya to the north of the Narmada, Parichata or Paripatra or the present Aravalli mountains, Shadhya or Shadhyadri or the western Ghats, Kanhagiri or Kanheri near Mumbai, Mohindra or eastern Ghats and Setagiri, the hill near Nagarjunkonda in the Guntur area of Andhra Pradesh. When he is lauded as the ruler whose chargers drunk the water of the three seas or Ti Samudha Tayapita Bahana, three seems to have been an allusion to the expansion of the Shatavahana power over the entire Deccan from the western to the eastern seaboard. He fittingly assumed the epithet, the Lord of the Deccan or Dakshinapathapati. Gautamiputra was certainly the first Shatavahana ruler to have conquered the eastern Deccan. For the first time, the Shatavahana authority penetrated into the southern and western part of Gujarat and Malava too. Generally, it is said that the end of Gautamiputra's reign of 24 years came in 130 CE when the throne passed into his son and successor, Vashishtiputra Pulumai, who also ruled for 24 years. Clearly identified with Siro Ptolemyos or Sri Pulumai of Ptolemy's geography, his political center continued to be at Betana or Poithan. He indeed retained the Shatavahana control over Narsik 
which has yielded his four inscriptions of years 2, 6, 19 and 22 and also over Karli near Pune. The latter has yielded two records of years 7 and 24. that Amaravati region in the eastern Deccan was controlled by him is evident from his inscriptions from Amaravati. He issued a particular type of coin with sheep motif which as especially meant for circulation in the eastern Deccan. The numismatic evidence thus further corroborates the continuity of the Shatavahana mastery over the eastern Deccan. The political and military success of the Shatavahanas since the days of Gautamiputra was once again cut short by another group of Shaka rulers known as the Kardamaka house. The Shaka ruling family appears to have come into prominence under Khatrapa Chashtan who was ruling in western India conjointly with his grandson Rudradhaman I in Shaka era 52 or CE 130 according to Andhav inscription coming from Kutch in western Gujarat. Chashtan who figures as Tiastanis in the geography of Ptolemy seems to have had his capital at Ujjaini in Avanti according to Ptolemy. This probably speaks of the loss of control of the Shatavahanas over Ujjaini in western Malava which had earlier been captured by Gautamiputra. The Shaka Shatavahana struggle thus entered its third phase at the peak of which the Shaka power experienced a major expansion thanks largely to the exploits of Rudradamana the 1st. His famous inscription from Junagar the first prashasti in classical sanskrit dated shaka era 72 or ce 150 credits him with the assumption of the higher title mahakshatrapa or sayamadhigata mahakshatrapa this implies that he had become an independent ruler in or before ce 150 by disregarding his east while overlords the kushanas rudradamana the first established his power over akaravanti anaratta or northern part of kathiavar shourashtra or kathiavar peninsula swabhra on the banks of the shavarmati kachcha sindhu shovira or lower indus valley both to the east and west of the indus kukura Aparanta and Nishad are located somewhere between the Vindhya and the Paripatra mountains. Several of the conquered areas had also figured in the list of territories under Shatavahanas according to Nashik Prashasti. One can easily infer that there were a few common areas which proved to be the bone of contention between the Shatavahanas and the Shakas. Rudradamana I, according to the Junagar Prashasti, twice defeated Dakshina Pathapati Shatakarani, the lord of the Deccan, but spared him on account of the nearness of relation. This brought him glory. It is said that Dakshina Pathapate Shatakarane Dvirapi Nirvajama Vajitya Vajitya Sambandham Avidurataya Anutsadhanat Prapta Yasha The defeated Shatakarni was doubtless a Shatavahana king. Some historians consider the defeated Shatavahana ruler to be Gautamiputra himself. Some others seek to identify him, Vashishtiputra Pulumai. Professor B. N. Mukherjee argues that he was not Gautamiputra because Gautamiputra was not contemporary to Rudradamana. However, an inscription from Kanheri informs us that the Shatavahana king Vashishtiputra Shatakarni married the daughter of Mohakhatrapa Dhru. The name is unfortunately broken and not legible therefore. 
if mahakatrapa rule is the same as rudradamana the first then the defeated shatavahana king would be vashishtiputra shatakarni who by the virtue of being the son in law of rudradamana was not uprooted by the shock adversary the third phase of this hostility clearly marked an ascendancy of the shakas despite the heavy losses suffered the shatavahanas somehow managed to retain their control over their primary stronghold in nashik and western deccan two inscriptions of bhushtiputra shatakarni from nashik and nanaghat in his year 13 Inscriptions attest to his long reign of at least 27 years during which the Shatavahana territorial possession comprised Nashik, Western Deccan, Eastern Deccan, Vidarbha indicated by his inscriptions and some of his coins. Some of his coins were mint for circulation especially in the eastern deccan which continued to be part of the shatavahana realm of the three successors of this ruler jagnasri shatakarni was a prominent king he was probably the last of the powerful shatavahana monarchs his three successors vijay shatakarni chandraswati shatakarni and pulumain ruled over a much truncated territory confined to Andhra Pradesh and in the Bellary area of Karnataka the spectacular spread of the Shaka province under Rudradamana the 1st could not be kept up by his successors who however retained their independent position in western Malav Gujarat Kathiawar till the early 5th century CE There is a little doubt that the Deccan came into considerable political limelight with the emergence and consolidation of the Shatavahana power. The Shaka Shatavahana rivalry over a protracted period was indeed a salient feature of the politics of peninsular India. An analysis of the Shaka Shatavahana struggle underlines that there were a few areas which were commonly sought after by the two rivals. One such area was certainly the Malav region which stood as it were as a corridor between North and Peninsular India. The western part of Malav with Ujjaini as its premier political and urban center was in intimate contact with the Gujarat coast where was situated the famous port of Barigaja. Akara or the eastern part of Malav probably provided the access to the diamond mines of Panna in eastern Madhya Pradesh. Therefore the ancient name Akara meaning mine which too was a bone of contention between the Shakas and the Shatavahanas. Both the powers appeared to have been aware of the importance of the seaborne trade with the Roman Empire and vied with each other to capture and control ports like Barigaja, Sopara, Kolyan and Semilla or Chol. Economic factors seem to have strongly influenced the course of the Shaka Shatavahana rivalry in the Deccan. This is the end of our today's discussion. Subscribe our channel, like our video and comment. Listen to our podcast episode. Follow our official Facebook page, Twitter handle and Instagram. For any query feel free to mail us. For details see the description.